And they're saying, I thought you fixed this for me. I'm going to take a break. My name is John Collin. I'm with the Silver Team uh, with Jonathan and Jordan as my teammates. A brief outline of the presentation. We're going to go through the, the history, uh, description, steady state operating curve, step response, the modeling that went with it, sign, the Bode experimentation with the Bode modeling, root locus, and modeling along with that. Show you the feedback controller, the P only results, and end of the conclusion. Background our system block diagram looks as such. You have a motor that provides an input to the lever control, control system, and the output is a water level in a tank. Um, here's a schematic of what it looks like you have an upper tank that gets filled, which then fills the lower tank. There's a pressure sensor, a transmitter, as you can see, that transmits to um, the controller in the system, and then there's the diagram. Our steady state operating curve, we found that we could operate it between 70 and 100% motor input and get between 9 and 22 centimeters of water head out. The step response um, for the 90 to 100 step is as shown with a gain of 0.88, which was true for most of the other ranges as well. A step back down, as you can see, follows around the same suit. And also, as Previous presentations have shown are it's a very, it's a very long stable out system. So it takes as you can see five or six minutes to reach a steady state, and even this one's not as good as it should be. And this one it only reaches steady state for thirty seconds as a compared to up there. So it's a, it was hit or miss with this whole system. Um, average gain that we received up and down uh, was shown pretty stable across the board. The only two that stand out from the rest are the down from 1780 and the up from 80 to 90. And the repeatability might um, level that out if we do more tests. But as such, that's what we have. An average dead time um, hangs around five seconds, except for the one that you can see sticking up there from 80 to 90. And that took 15 seconds. An average time constant that we found for our system using the the step response, the first order plus dead time model, um, is as shown around a minute, is the average that we found for all the steady state range. Modeling theory for the step is as shown. Uh, the results you can see for our 90 to 100 range, um, with the, the lime green being the model and the red being the experimental, were uh, pretty close without playing with it for few hours. And all coming on the, on the way down, it seems to match up a little better. Our sign results. The only way we could get any kind of response out of the system without it being steady state operating is using a very, very, very low frequency of 0.002 cycles. And as you can see, to get four complete periods, we had to run it for 1,200 seconds. So it was, uh, it was a beast. We would run it, come up here and sit through a lecture from Dr. Henry and go down and analyze it. And so it took about a month to do this. Uh, the results that you can see on the Bode, this is the experimental results from the Bode plot. Um, give you an ultimate frequency of 0.0065. Uh, one of the KCU of 0.3 centimeters per percent. Uh, we found it to be a first order system, or a 0.01 order. Uh, K is what we expected to get, that we got from our steps of 0.8. We got 0.88 from our um, step response. So they seem to agree. The sign results, um, voting modeling. Um, as you can see, the red is oh, not like that. The red is the modeling, the blue is the experimental. Um, we were only able to use one range. This is between 70 and 80. When you went 80 to 90, no matter if you're, the slowest frequency you could do was 0.0001 cycles a second, and it was steady state at anything over 80% motor input. So we all ran Jordan's range, which was 70 to 80, and that's, the only, that's why we only are showing this in the modeling and the experimental. And we were only able to run it at really low frequencies, as you can see, is 
0.02, and 0.05, and the, we only got four points for our line, and that's a big reason why it doesn't follow the curve like it should. It's because a lot of the frequencies didn't give you data that would fit anywhere. It, it would go off the chart, under the chart, or it wouldn't even be, this, the system just was screwy in here. Um, very situations a lot of times. And the results from this modeling that we got from the voting, um, a K over system of 0.88 centimeters of water per percent, a dead time of 30 seconds, and a, ta a tau of 58 seconds, which all agrees with what we had from our steps. Now, the schematics of our feedback controller, you're all familiar with this, with our closed loop transfer function looking as such, and the characteristic, characteristic equation shown at the bottom. To show you our refocus model and plot it itself. Crossing your imaginary axis gives you your ultimate ACU of 5.5, underdamped in the region of 0.4 to 5.5, overdamped anything below 0.4, and critically damped at 0.4. And like I said, there's those results, and all are in percent per centimeter water, water head, and here's our Feeling controller design modeling with our critically quarter one five hundredths and overdamped shown. And now for all the frequencies, here's what we found. Ultimate frequency is 5.5 kc. And pay attention to this. We weren't actually able to run the experiment, but I was able to salvage some that our colleagues in Mexico, right? Is that got to run and not we weren't able to do the experiment I don't know what their NT is or anything like that but we were able to compare it to what we were to model of KC's of 5.5 is ultimate and anything below there is going to be critically or up under damped so comparing this to what they did you can see for a KC of 10 which should be under damped or over damped you can see the customer got what they wanted. It leveled out. Con uh, consistent input. The controller was switched on. It comes down from 100. Sign soil turns off. Comes back on. And it starts to level out. So it only has one. Yeah. So that it looks like that's critically damped to me. But I have no way of knowing what they did for this. And for our model, it should have been for critically advanced point four. Um, another KC that I found that they ran was for 25. And this is just their title that they ran it at. And you can see it's a bit more, there's an extra oscillation in there before it reaches their set point of, for all three of the experiments that it has, it was approximately 5.89, it's, 5 it's roughly 6 centimeters. Not sure why they did it for that range. And then here's a KC of 100. And as you can see, there's a lot more oscillation in about the same time frame before it stables out. I'm assuming it stables out within this noise at the same the set point level. It's a little bit higher, about 6.2 at that point. Conclusions are that the customer got what they wanted. They put it a set point of 5.9, and all three of these results. Stable out at 5.9. I wasn't able to do any more analysis, so that's that.